the funniest, the funniest clip of the day, although there are other funny ones too, trust me, uh, about going crazy in the quarantine life, is Joe Biden. He calls for, well, most of us would say economic discourse yeah. uh, throughout the world or economic trade or I don't know, what else would we call it? Anything. International, <laughs> international affairs, um, diplomacy. No, Joe Biden called it economic intercourse. Uh, yes, he called it economic intercourse and you heard that correctly. And here is the clip. I would, I would get much more engaged in the world. We can't step back. If in fact, for example, we solve the problem in the United States of America and you don't solve it other parts of the world, you know what's gonna happen. We're going to have, you're going to have travel bans. You're going to not be able to do, have, have economic intercourse around the world. There's a lot. Look, when America goes alone, when, when America is first, it's America alone. Joe is going crazy. Quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently China's <laughs> screwing us more ways than one. I'm sorry, but if you were interviewing Joe and he says economic intercourse, I'd be I mean, laughing. what do you say? I would break out hysterically. <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Vice President, does that include social distancing and the intercourse part of it? <laughs> so two, two examples of what Joe's talking about. Uh, recently, China has purchased Smithfield Foods. Yes. So one of our big uh, meat processing and patching companies are now going to be owned by China. And they're going to ship the product over to China where they're going to slaughter it and then package it and send that's it back. A, that's an example. Well, I think they're already doing that, even without Smithfield. I think there's already arrangements where meat growers are already sending stuff to be processed in China. Ugh. And who knows what comes back? I mean, yeah, is it knows? what we sent? I yeah. have no idea. Um, so that's one example of us being, our taxpayers and our citizens being on the wrong side of economic intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> China's screwing us. <laughs> and the second example, I just was reading, I think yesterday, that China is buying a large group of oil wells in Texas for a rather vast sum of money. Oh, God. So once again, China is using economic intercourse yes. to take advantage of <laughs> And they're American inserting possessions. themselves inside of America. Yes. <laughs> yes. And these things scare me. And I'm certainly hopeful that at some level, the federal government has to review these these purchases by China, and they have to step Absolutely. in and stop this intercourse. Absolutely. I mean, China China has been conducting economic intercourse all over the world, though. I mean, this is part of a larger policy called the Belt Road Initiative. Absolutely. Uh, where China basically goes, and they find, you know, developing countries. and That's where they're trying to have intercourse with the rest of the world, with that yeah. Belt and Road Initiative. Belt and Road, yeah. Unbuckle you know what I found belt. interesting, too, is here's what I think happened in that interview. When Joe said economic intercourse, I'm convinced that five minutes before the interview, he had uh, a session with his advisors about all the allegations that he had raped this woman. And, and he it kept thinking intercourse. Mind. So <laughs> he was thinking intercourse. It was on the mind. And so then he got on to, you know, the news program and he said economic intercourse <laughs> because that's what, you know, that's what he was thinking about. So, by the way, just remember, remember garbage president. In, garbage out. Remember if you're President Xi Jinping, the president of China? Winnie the Pooh. And you're, you're Winnie the Pooh and you're negotiating with Joe Biden because he wins president of the United States, God forbid. And, and, and the, the interpreter, the Chinese interpreter is like, oh. yes, uh, Mr. President, uh, he said economic intercourse. And she's like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you know, I can run circles around this guy. Uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> did, we, did we get that one? To, did we bang that one to death? <laughs> Do you want to, oh God, Mark. <laughs>